Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at a clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And uh, we had okay picks. <coughs> this week has been voodoo. Tell me down there in the comment section uh, how you've been doing this week. Uh, I found it to be fairly voodoo. Had some, uh, some, some really good ones, and then weird stuff is happening. I think it has a lot to do with COVID, the shortened season. It's been a little difficult to uh, to nail down these picks. I think last year I was I was way up higher than this year. Still not doing too bad. Like pretty much a wash today. Um, again, I'm seeing to seem to be doing a lot of wash. But now remember, I do every pick over and our uh, totals and sides for every game and I'm up on a lot which is not the easiest thing to do apparently because cappers generally don't do that so which case I do because I want to bring you fine programming I am Pearl of Wisdom you know and you are listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom BPAL Picks edition um, I also do a show Tomorrow is my last day of this week. Fridays, I'm in the basement here, so it's a little dark. Let me do something just quick. That's not much better. <laughs> okay. Um, I do a show from three to five, five days a week, where we go and uh, we do picks. We have people like uh, uh, Jacket, CL, Mercer, Hockey News reports, they all come into the land and they do picks. And then we have a point system and you get points. And then you take those points and the person who wins at the end of the month is going to be able to give me a dare that I have to do for the month. So if you want to be part of that, it there, we do, we, it's not all we do. We talk about trades. We talk about uh, what's going on in the league, news, moves, all that kind of stuff like that. Who's better, who's good, who's hot, who's not. So go check it out. It's really fun. Three to five Eastern in, uh, you know, to watch it during work. Why not? Or just quit. Just quit your job. Come see it. Three to five Eastern. Okay, I'm going to give you some quick picks here. Thank you for subscribing. Helen is freaking her. There's, there's like at the end of her fingertips, it's almost starting to bleed. She's making so many pearls of wisdom necklaces for all of y'all that are subscribing. It's crazy. I should help her or something, but I don't like it. It's not my favorite thing. She is 85 years old, so. All right, let's get to our picks for tomorrow. Oh, quick picks for you in the hurry, people, that you got to get. Don't have time for all this great frolic that we have for the rest of the video where we're going to talk about why we took our picks, how was our picks last night, and uh, then we're going to talk about our picks a little deeper as in these picks. And sometimes while I'm doing the picks, I actually change the picks that I'm going to do. <laughs> and then tomorrow... You get goaltenders and all kinds of stuff like that. Sometimes I change them and it doesn't work out well. Like when I found out that Dell was in. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Islanders money line under five and a half. Penguins in reg under six. Is that under really? Yeah, it is. Capitals puck line over five and a half. Wild. Money line under five and a half. Puck line is uh, minus one and a half. You got to win by two. Chess. Maybe you didn't know. Uh, Avalanche puck line over five and a half. Vegas in reg over five and a half. This is my thing here. And Sharks in reg over five and a half. There you go. You got that? Did you get all your pro get all your crayons out? Put that down in your journals. Look them over and do your picks for tomorrow. Tell me about them if you do any parlays or if you make lots of the money. Okay, 
Thanks for coming, guys, if you can't stick around. You go have yourself a great day. Allow the frolic to enter you and boost you into your day. Unless it's night, then let it make you go to sleep, I guess. Okay. We are now going to go see what happened last night. This is going to be our picks. Okay. Here we go. Or tonight. Tonight, last night, whatever. Tonight, I guess. Maybe last night, depending on when you watch it. Uh, this would be the 8th. Okay, hurry, hurry. Okay, here we go. Um, starting off with the Devils versus the Sabres. I had the Devils. If you had my video last night, you picked the Devils. If you were a Patreon member, you might have ended up picking the Sabres after Dell was put in. And then, um, I don't know why, I still thought it was going to be under after that. I was a little confused. But Skinner got a goal last night. Are you kidding me? That's almost should give, they should actually give Buffalo a win just for that. Um, but they don't. They don't do that sort of thing. Anyways, we didn't have the over, we didn't have the Devils because we changed it. But if you were last night, you had the Devils. So that's good for you. Like last night, my last video, I had the Devils because I thought Blackwood was going to be in net. Uh, why did why did apparently they knew what they were doing? They put Dell in, who hasn't played well for a long time, but it is the way it is. Um, we had the Islanders last night. That was great. The problem is I put it in rank, <laughs> and it was money line. Uh, we had we also had the over on this, so we're down multiple pearls here. Uh, I, this was large, and uh, so we're down like. Five, five and a half, six, six pearls. Uh, penguins also didn't have, but we did have the over. That was pretty much a wash. Um, I thought the Rangers might give it a shot. I wasn't too confident. I didn't put it in, but I did like the over. So that was good. We had the over in here, and we had the Capitals. I just cannot believe the Burns Swayman. Kid, the kid comes through the first two games. He wins his first two games ever. He's only 19 or 20 or something like that. Crazy. Uh, yeah, the Capitals couldn't get her done. Bruins end up winning. We had a wash on the over, so we're down about seven pearls. That was medium. Here we had the under and the hurricanes. That brought us up a little bit. Uh, then, then we had Lightning and Blue Jackets, and uh, we had the Blue Jackets PL and the under for virtually nothing. I didn't like this game, so I'm glad I didn't bet much on it. I said in my, I said in my uh, Patreon, I do an analysis for each game, and I said that knowing me, I'll take the Blue Jackets here, and the uh, Lightning will finally win. And sure enough, that's what it is. Now, here was our pick of the night. I think we're down like six six and a half pearls or something like that. Here was our pick of the night that brought us up. This is a five pearls pick. So we had the Jets in regulation for five. So 80, 80 is 163, 24. So we're only down two now. We also had the Oilers for large in regulation and the under. So that one worked out really good. I think it was 70, that was for three. So 70, 70, 70, we're even now. And the under puts us up about half, half a pearl. The Predators, we had the Predators, but we also had the under and the under was for large. So we're down about two and a half, two, we're down two. And this one crushed us. We had the Blackhawks under and the Blackhawks to win. So we're down five. But we hit baseball, uh, three for one on baseball, that gave us two. So we're down three, down three pearls for the day. And for the, and for the week, we are down one pearl. So not too bad, still kind of around breaking even, uh, which honestly for the, for the uh, I thought this was gonna be a lot better night than it was the predators and red wings were um it was under after the third where, where is that oh, 
come I can't get it up? Trust me, I guess. Oh, let's look at it. Box. It was under after, after the second, under the third. If it was under after the third, we might have got the under. And they always go under. Under, under, under all the time. I guess eventually sometimes it's going to have to. But if you look here, what was the score? Uh, yeah, 3 1. I'm saying, eh, you know, these guys don't score much. Four goals. Four unanswered goals in the third period. Boom. Bye bye, under. So, not the greatest day. Uh, down one. Let's try her again tomorrow, though, shall we? Why not? We're just having fun here, anyways, right? Hope some nobody's throwing huge scratch out there. Um, on Patreon for the year, I'm still up, even though it's been a fairly difficult year. For most cappers I hear, they're saying that this has been one of the tougher years, and that's there's a lot of like I said, COVID, whole bunch of factors that we're not used to. Uh, teams playing more games than usual, all kinds of stuff. So it's made it challenging, but that makes it fun. Right. Okay, Friday, the 9th. Let's go. Islanders over the Rangers. Uh, Islanders over the Rangers. I'm taking the Islanders over the Rangers. They should have uh, Kincaid in net, and the Islanders should have Varlamov in net. The Islanders should crush this game. Absolutely crush this game. Now I would have had I would have been up though today if I would have stuck with my guns and not went in reg. I got greedy with the Islanders. If I would have took that for large pearls and just kept it money line, I would have been up today. So am I going to do that here? No, I'm going to go in reg <laughs> for large. I'm sure it'll be large. I really think that's going to be a great game there to pick. New Jersey, Pittsburgh. If Pittsburgh doesn't win that game, I don't know. Blackwood will be in that, though. That's the only thing that has me a little bit concerned. Blackwood could win that game, but they're both on back-to-backs. Pittsburgh needs this win more than New Jersey. Uh, DeSmith is a better goaltender. He's going to be in. Um, I'm, I may be it's, – it's on the road, so I may just stick with the money line and take my money. Uh, Washington versus Buffalo. Like Washington should have won, beat Boston today. No McAvoy in net for Boston today, and wa and uh, Washington couldn't pull that out. Thing is, Vanacek will be up against who? Who's Buffalo's goaltender going to be tomorrow? They're going to play Allmark twice. I don't think so. Why crush Allmark now? You're out of the playoffs, so it's probably going to be Tukarski. It's I would say over here, and uh, for sure over. Uh, I think it's pro. Wonder what it is. What is the total on that? Total. Five and a half. Yeah, over. And I don't like doing overs on back to backs, but with those two goaltenders, I gotta go over. Minnesota versus St. Louis. This is a tough one. I'm pretty sure Bennington's going to be in. If he's getting hot, this could be trouble. I'm probably going to fade this. If I do, it's going to be small pearls on Minnesota. And, uh, yeah, I don't even know over or under here, honestly. Minnesota can crush and go over. Uh, can St. Louis score enough? To get it to the over, are they hot now? It's really, this is a really different, there's too many factors here I don't like about this game. I'm going to, I say, I take picks and sides for all. I'm going to say Minnesota and the over. Colorado, Anaheim, Colorado puck line, they got to beat Anaheim. No Raquel. The only thing that they got is Gibson playing, and I mean, Colorado should be angry after that loss against Minnesota, 8-3. This is not, the poor Anaheim Ducks here should get crushed. So, puck line, Colorado. Vegas versus Arizona. Um, this is actually tougher than I think. I think Fleury's getting a little tired. In his, I don't know. He's not where he was in the beginning of the season. However, Hill is pretty average. Sometimes he's really good, but for the most part, he's pretty average. i got to take Vegas here. He's getting no juice. I'm not going more than in reg. Just the way Vegas is playing lately. 
And Arizona is going to come out flying to begin with because they always do. Talk at teams come out flying. And if they get up on you, you never know. But I'm going to take Vegas at home. It's San Jose versus Los Angeles. San Jose is the most voodoo team in the league. They, they, when, when they're playing with a lot of flow, they're great. When they're not, they're not. Jones has looked amazing. He's looked crappy. Uh, Peterson should be in net for L.A., but I'm still going to take San Jose at home, I think. Um, probably just money, well, yeah, just money line for sure. Maybe Los Angeles puck line on that, but you're not getting much of anything on that, are you? 150, 144, yeah, that's tough. Tough game to cap. I, I probably might even, I'd be, I'm pretty fady on that game too. Okay, boys and girls, that's my full 42. Uh, thanks for all of you that have uh, supported this, uh, me, and uh, went over to Patreon. And uh, I, I don't bet on games because I don't know why. As soon as I do, everything goes crazy. It. It seems to me I just I see the game I see the, the the picks from a different perspective when I'm not betting, and uh, it helps me be able to be more secure in my betting when I do it. Do you understand what I mean on my picks? I don't know. It's voodoo. So I started that Patreon because I give this as a free service. Uh, I do also baseball picks over there. I hit tennis like crazy. Patreons that are over there say they're making money. So if you'd like to support it and make a little money at the same time, $25, I'll give you a free month. See if you like it. If you don't, head out. doesn't cost you a dime. If you do, you can stop at any time. Why not? I'll put the link in the bio. And if I see over there, we would have a little perlo dancing together. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.